what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel thank you guys so much for being here today i need me some of this this morning didn't really sleep all that well last night so good morning or good evening whenever you guys are watching this video thanks for being here today guys mm. gatekeeper coffee yeah all right so as you guys can tell from the thumbnail Today, we are talking about the one and only Okie Dokie Soap Company. The owner's name is Alan. They are out of OH. You know you filled in the rest. All right. So, I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five oils to go over today. I've got a couple of butters, and then I've got one bar of soap. So, let's go ahead and get into today's review, shall we? All right. Well, the very first one we're going to talk about today is Strawberry Pound Cake. So when I had Alan on my live stream, which if you guys haven't checked that one out, go back into my lives, check out Alan, Okie Dokie Soap Company. Definitely, you know, want to highly recommend checking that company out. Great dude. These are fantastic scents that I've had so far. <sighs> Man, you guys know I love my food scents. Oh, so the scent profile really is just strawberry pound cake. I was looking on his website, and literally that's what it said. You know, I, I don't know any other way to, to basically sum this one up for you guys. It's sweet, but not like overtly sweet. It just, it smells so good. It's like a fresh baked something or other strawberry pound cake. Oh, so good. I really, really enjoyed this one. And I do have the butter to match. We will get into the butters in just a little bit. So I do want to talk about the ingredients. Let me see if I can, here we go. Hemp oil, jojoba oil, meadow foam oil, argan oil, rice bran oil, castor oil, vitamin E, and fragrance oil. Very simplistic if you ask me. I really, really enjoy this. This was one of my favorites that I got from him, although I got quite a few goodies. So let's keep things rolling and we're going to get into the next one. All right, so the next one that we have is Cotton Candy. Oh, yeah. So if you guys just uh, didn't see my last video, I did a, you know, Carnival Sense for EDC. Again, very similar as far as the, you know, concept as far as like the uh, Cotton Candy Carnival, that kind of thing. So this Cotton Candy, wow. Oh, that is just epic. That makes me, you know, just feel like a kid again, going to any sort of, you know, carnival or circus or whatever, and just getting that large, you know, stick of cotton candy. Oh, that's so good. I don't know if you guys like food scents. I know some of you do, some of you don't. Cotton candy, wow. Alan, you've really outdone yourself with all of the scents that I got. This is just fantastic. I also love supporting a company, you know, that stands up for a good cause. They do a lot of, you know, uh, work with the Autism Foundation and I just, I really, really love supporting a company that has their hand in things helping for a good cause. So again, great owner, great company, support a great cause, get you some of this. Cotton candy. Good stuff. All right, let's keep it moving. Okay, the next one is 
Blueberry Tastic. I absolutely love these bottles, by the way. I love being able to see, you know, where the level is in, in my oil. This one. Oh. Okay. This is literally a fresh baked blueberry muffin. This one is just spectacular. If you guys like blueberry scents or food scents in general, trust me, this is going to smell to you as if you literally just baked blueberry muffins. This one was spectacular. Hats off to you, Alan. This one was great, dude. I absolutely love this one. Oh. Yeah, this is one literally you could just sit here smelling all day. Plain and simple. Like, yeah, it's that good. All right, guys, let's keep moving. All right. So, the next one that we have is Fizzy Pop. I'm probably going to get, like, stricken for that one or whatever whatever YouTube does. Oh. So, this one, I'm sure you guys can tell, kind of self-explanatory, right? It's a drink set. So, Fizzy Pop is citrus, lime, and lemon. So, to me, this kind of smells like a, anywhere between maybe like a 7-Up, a Sprite, or anything along like those lines of, a like lemon lime soda. I'm sure there's tons of them on the market. Oh, so good. Also, I keep forgetting to, to tell you guys this, but look, okay, I love that. I think that's ingenious. I really enjoy the fact that people come up with new things. Usually I'm a, you know, just normal dropper top kind of guy. Usually either that or a restrictor top. But look, I love that. I think it's ingenious. All right. We got one more oil to talk about, and we're going to keep it moving. All right. So the last oil that we have to talk about is Kylie's Cuts. Sorry if you guys can't see that. I'm trying to focus this thing in. All right. So, this is an old-time barber shop. Give it a good shake. Shake, shake, shake. It's so refreshing and clean. I've smelled so many barber shops through the years. And I'm always just trying to find, you know, what makes things smell different. This really, it, all I can tell you is it smells really clean. Like, it smells very fresh. And so, therefore, I'm not picking up a whole lot of, like, you know, like the aftershave or the shaving cream. It just, it smells really, really fresh and clean. That's the only way I can really tell you guys what I'm picking up as far as what it smells like. I'm really interested. I like this. I think barbershops are becoming kind of my new thing. One of my new things, other than food scents. Um, maybe I'll do like a whole barbershop video. What do you guys think? Drop that down in the comment section. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get into the butters and then talk about the soap. Okay, so the three butters that I have, again, was the Strawberry pound cake because I had to have that one with it. I have Kylie's cuts and then I also have the fizzy pop. So I just wanted to show you guys fizzy pop. Okay. It, it, it's a little bit hard at first, but once you get in working in on it, it's not too bad. So Alan does use beeswax. 
in his butters. I know. Um, not exactly my favorite ingredient in butters. That's just my own personal take on it. But I, I understand why a lot of companies now are starting to do that. Again, usually it's just for shipping purposes, you know, just to kind of keep it solidified a little bit while really in, you know, 100 degree temperatures being shipped, you know, cross country. That's really why they put beeswax and butters. You just got to kind of take it for what it is. Now, for the Kylie's Cuts, again, it does, okay, have like that balm kind of quality. So I would have liked to have seen it maybe a little bit more softer for a, like a butter kind of thing. You know, it does kind of have like that balm-like feel in a sense. But it does a very good job in beard. No complaints. Everything, you know, conditioned really well. Everything smells really well. You know, the oil really conditioned my skin. No complaints with the actual products themselves. I just wish it wasn't as, like, almost like balm quality in a sense. It just, it's, it's very hard to start, you know, kind of dipping my finger in to get it to go. And now, weirdly enough, this is the butter for the strawberry pound cake completely different night and day i even put this one in the refrigerator for like five or six hours one night because i kind of forgot about it um and that's the way that it's set up and so there was something different i don't really understand why but there was something different with it between the kylie's cuts the fizzy pop and the strawberry pound cake I don't know. So this one is shea butter, cocoa butter, jojoba oil, hemp oil, argan oil, beeswax, essential oil. Maybe like the amount of beeswax in this one wasn't somewhere between these two as much. I don't know. I have no idea. But this one definitely out of the three that I got was the softest. And so I kind of wish that these two had been that same, you know, soft quality. But nonetheless... Still really, really good. I highly recommend Okie Dokie Soap Company. Again, if you haven't checked them out, I will be linking their website in the description down below. And I do want to go over some prices really quickly. So I found some different prices on some of the oils. So for the strawberry pound cake, the original was $17.99. And right now, Ellen does have a sale going on on his website. Right now, the strawberry pound cake is $14.99. Cotton candy is sold out currently. Uh, the original price on that one was $19.99. The sale price was $14.99. Let me see. The fizzy pop, again, was $14.99. That was just a flat $14.99. And for the two ounce butter of Fizzy Pop, it is $16.99. Blueberry Tastic, that one is $14.99. For Kylie's Cuts, again, that one too is $14.99. And the two ounce butter is $16.99. And now the soap. So, I haven't used this one yet. But that is what his soap looks like. Let me just, there you go. I love the stamping on it. So, one bar of soap, $8. Great deal. Absolutely fantastic. I love the little blueberry muffin dude on the, uh, on the label there. So, again, $8.00. Ingredients is tallow, coconut oil, shea butter, hemp butter, olive oil, castor oil, I'm going to butcher this one, tusa silk, cane sugar, sodium hydroxide, lye, uh, forgive me for this one, kaolin, K-A-O-L-I-N, clay, sodium lactate is the hardener, essential oils, fragrance oils, and mica for color. So, that's that. Again, 
super good prices. I think it's actually below market for a lot of these. Again, we've seen oils in our you know fields anywhere from, oh God, I've seen them from like 10, 12, all the way up to like 24. So really great prices. Go check them out if you haven't. Tell Alan I sent you. And until next time, guys, thank you guys for watching. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you. I will be back with a live stream this Sunday. So be watching out for that. And until next time, guys, have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next video.